Hi. I'm here to to teach you how to do the robotics using VEX robotics component and right now I'm doing the elevator design just a while ago I made a program my program is uh, very very important so that my VEX robotics will function so I use the robot C robot C from the robot C uh, technology it is a uh, C it, it is um, a programming using a C C language the basic C and in the VEX robotics there are different kinds of um, components that you have to know like for instance the uh, robot brain we call it a VEX IQ ro robot brain and the three sensors and the three sensors I'm using on my elevator the touch sensor this is the touch sensor and this is the bumper switch and this is the distance sensor okay and again the distance sensor that one and the bumper sensor once you press it one it will it will give another command what to do depends on your on your program and this is the LED sensor and I use a pulley there's a pulley in here and I have this elevator so the, this whole structure is like a building this uh, support in which the elevator can go, move, move up and down but in my design I'm gonna show you the basic function of an elevator so I use a pulley instead of um, from this structure and the first thing to do to do is to switch on the LED touch LED by touching it and then this this elevator will go up then go up and then until it touch to the bumper sensor when it turns on to one when it turn on to one it will go down and stop once it reaches to the specified distance that I that I made in my program on my distance sensor all right so we have to do it how it works okay just put it properly string and then, then turn it on download the the programs to the brain all right then click start all right so it is now turning to green then press this button see that my elevator goes up then that's the bumper sensor and it goes back until it stopped yes it stopped and that's it the very basic function of an elevator okay what else you need to know um, beside all these functions you need this USB cable tethered to your PC so that it connects to your program sometimes you can use the, the joystick to do that but in my in, in this case I use a different platform I use um, something like um, the autonomous controller controller required that one this one instead of teleopt the teleopt needs a joystick it goes wirelessly it goes in wireless mode but the autonomous it it uses the USB cable okay and that's all of my design and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'm here